While China investigates whether it should build a manned radar station on the moon, you may have missed edible food packaging and MIT's phone that needs no assembly because magnets. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where this last weekend's Pokemon World Championship tournament happened in San Francisco and I couldn't go, but I'd imagine it looked something like Charmander, playing flaming bagpipes while balancing on a giant Pokeball. There, you're all cut up. Smartphone manufacturing has come a long way, but they still need to be painstakingly assembled, either by people or by robots. But a prototype from MIT has shown with enough magnets, you can just throw a bunch of components into the same kind of tumbler you probably polished rocks with, and then let it all self-assemble into a functional phone. Take those rough stones and put them in this little container. They're tumbling around in the water and the grit is taking off the sharp edges. Yes. Exactly what it looks like, right? Seriously. Regular rock tumbler. MIT phone tumbler. No difference. Anyway, this is not a joke. The MIT team has already managed to get six components to Voltron themselves into two different phone configurations. Granted, they're looking a little like early 90s handsets, but the point is, maybe we don't need all those robots after all. It's a very nice keychain. Would you like to keep that? Sure. Scientists at the U.S. Department of Agriculture just presented their invention that aims to cut back on plastic wrap waste in landfills. They created food packaging cling wrap made of milk protein that's not only biodegradable, but also edible. And you can eat it to boot. Plus, it actually keeps more oxygen off of fresh produce anyhow, so it shouldn't rot as quickly. They're even talking about not needing as much sugar on cereals because a spray coating of this stuff would keep cereal crunchy in milk. But I'm gonna need to stop you right there because they're also forgetting all the people with serious milk allergies in this hypothetical new dawn that sounds otherwise perfect. Dear Department of Agriculture, please don't forget about all of us, the allergic freaks. Love, Carrie Davis, allergic freak, Number 10,796-47. Heart. And finally, you might remember Ulo, the security owl I fell in love with last year. The same company has a new Indiegogo for a tiny bear used as a kind of sign language remote that can replace your other remotes and sync with your smart objects through Bluetooth. So you can wave to your bear to turn the lights off or the music up or whatever. It's cute, but nothing can replace the owl. 